Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel, your go-to source for all things EB1A and immigration related if you are stuck in a massive immigration backlog. So today we have an exciting topic to discuss. The difference between the H-1B visa and the EB-1A green card. Well, as an EB-1A recipient myself and the founder of Smart Green Card program, I'm thrilled to share this valuable information with you. So sit tight and let's dive right in. First, let's talk about the purpose of these two immigration options. The H-1B visa is a non-immigrant visa that allows foreign workers to temporarily work in the United States, while the EB-1A green card is an employment-based immigrant visa that grants individuals permanent residency based on their extraordinary ability in the sciences or the arts or the education, business or athletics, whatever your field may be. When it comes to residency, the H-1B visa is temporary, lasting typically for about six years after after an extension with the possibility of further extension provided you meet certain clauses. Now on the other hand, the EB-1A green card offers permanent residency from the moment it is approved, allowing individuals to live and work in the United States indefinitely. Now let's discuss the requirements for these two options. The H-1B requires sponsorship from a US employer and mandates that the applicant possesses a bachelor's degree or its equivalent. In contrast though, the EB-1A green card requires individuals to demonstrate extraordinary ability in their field such as receiving prestigious awards, publishing influential research, showing evidence of high salary or commercial success. It allows you to self-petition which is not really the case with the H-1B. Moving on to the application process. The H-1B requires the employer to file a petition on behalf of the applicant. The process involves a lottery system due to the limited number of visas available each year. But on the other hand the EB-1A green card requires individuals to self-petition or allows individuals to self-petition meaning they can directly apply for the green card without employer sponsorship or any dependence on the word of the employer and all the drama that comes with it. Now, in terms of priority and processing time, the H-1B visa does not prioritize extraordinary ability and it is subject to lottery and annual cap. Now, this can lead to longer processing times and uncertainties as well without a sense of permanence. But the EB-1A green card is a first preference immigrant visa category, allowing for faster processing times and and more certainty in the application outcome provided you do have that strong meritorious case. Now lastly, let's discuss the family benefits. With the H-1B visa, dependents such as spouses and unmarried children under 21 can accompany the primary visa holder under an H-4 visa. However, the H-4 visa does not provide a direct path to permanent residency. It also provides a small scope for getting the EAD in order to work provided you meet certain classifications there. In contrast, the EAD EB-1A green card allows primary green card holder to include their spouse and unmarried children under 21 while they apply for their green card, providing them with permanent residency as well and also the employment benefits that come with the green card. Now, given that we have covered the key differences between the H-1B visa and the EB-1A green card, let me take a moment to introduce you to the Smart Green Card program. Our program is specifically designed to help individuals build a strong EB-1A profile through a strategic and hand on approach with our expert guidance. Now you'll receive personalized assistance in showing your extraordinary ability, maximizing your chances of success and all the details are available on our website right now on exactly what you'll be getting and how we'll be able to help you. If you are interested in learning more about the Smart Green Card program, check out the link in the description below and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things EB1A because trust me, it's worth it and it is free. Now until next time, this is Simon Shetty signing off. See you next time. Stay smart, stay informed and keep chasing your American dream. Peace.